following is a special presentation from 2 News Oklahoma. It's the first week of October, and some would say it's finally starting to feel like fall. Cooler temperatures and pumpkin-flavored everything is in stores. But there is one thing that isn't cooling down. Tonight, it's a District 3A showdown between the Bristow Pirates and the Verdigris Cardinals. Quarterback Dylan White and the Cardinals have defeated every challenger they have met this season, giving them a perfect 5-0 record. Can the Cardinals keep their perfect season alive, or will the Pirates steal their gold? It all kicks off right now on Friday Night Live. Welcome to Friday Night Live, sponsored by U.S. Cellular. along with our chief meteorologist Mike Collier and our sports director Caden McFarland. Here we have so much ahead for you tonight, including the story of a local woman who is encouraging others to not just dream, but to dream very big. Yeah, plus we're going to tell you how the Verdigris School and community pulled together to support a teacher who was in a terrible car accident, but the story is very inspiring. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're going to talk about this great matchup, Bristow versus Verdigris, number one team in the state, but how about the spirit we've got here? I didn't <laughs> yes. think we could so top good. what we had in Rogers County last week with Claremore, but this has been every bit as good. I guess it's kids night, so I've been throwing the football around with kids. We have the band behind us and the cheerleaders. It's a great scene, a great spot. I got to be honest, first time I've been to a game here at Verdigris, and it's a great atmosphere. So we can't wait to let, let's dive into that matchup right now, shall we? Number one Verdigris, number one team in class 3A, taking on a Bristow team that's won three in a row, and they have averaged more than 60 points per game, or roughly 60 points per game over that win streak. Here in Verdigris, they're looking at this as a special, special season. Head coach Travis East has been at it for a while. And so have these seniors on his squad, not just seniors, but guys who have played and started for four years now. The quarterback, Dylan White, a four year starter, running back Caden Parnell, big time playmaker and the linebacker Reese Roller had 15 sacks last season. You'll see him making plays on offense and defense. They face a unique challenge tonight in Bristow. The Purple Pirates run a unique, fun run based offense. But here at Vertigris, they think and they're not just looking at tonight. They're looking they're looking into December. They feel like state championship gold ball is their destiny. Freshman year coming in, it was definitely the first starts were a little, little, I was a little nervous, but I got a lot of games under my belt now, so that's definitely, that's helpful. You know, we've had a lot of progress and, and there's been a lot of work put in. There've been some tough times and um, we just kind of overcame it. And, and, you know, part of the success now has been built on all the players in the past too. It's just been something we've been thinking about since freshman year, being seniors. It's never happened here at Verdigris. Nobody's ever, nobody's won it all in football, so. We just, it's always been in our minds that we, we've got to be the class to win it all. And I mean, everything we do, that's all we're thinking about. But before they can win it all in December, well, you got to beat Bristow tonight. The Purple Pirates provide a unique challenge offensively. Bristow's complex. They, they run a, the flex bone on offense, and um, Coach Jones over there does a fantastic job with their whole team program. He's a great dude. You know, they're a tough team. They compete hard, and um, they get after it. Yeah, they're a good team. We're going to have to come out and score on them early and try to get them out of their game, make them throw it a little bit, but I want to get a lead early and continue that lead throughout the game. Uh, they run flex bone, so everyone's going to have to do their job this weekend. Uh, if, if everyone does their job, we'll come out on top. The last time Bristow was featured in one of our games of the week, 2019, they took on Wagner and beat the Bulldogs 30-7, to so they're 1-0 in one of our games of the week, Vertigris, trying to go to 1-0 and oh as well. We cannot wait for what's going to be a really fun atmosphere. And Mike, the weather. Yeah. October football, buddy. Love it. Now, your 2 News Oklahoma first forecast, sponsored by Executive Homes. 
Oh, yes. Fall is in the air. We certainly do love it, Caden, with uh, dry conditions here in Northeast Oklahoma. A few sprinkles trying to move into the McAllister area. Those will continue to weaken as the evening progresses. But most areas, about 98% of the area will remain dry. Temperatures lower 70s and upper 60s. So it is cool outside, especially with that north wind. That north wind will subside some to about 5 to 10 miles per hour overnight tonight. If you're going outside, this is a live view as we look out on our evening uh, Wade's RV weather camera network outside on this evening. We have a few hot and mid-level clouds. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s over the next hour, down to 60 degrees by 9 o'clock. And then by the end of the game, for many, it's going to feel chilly with temperatures in the upper 50s with a few clouds in there. Now, the clouds are going to thicken tonight, and that's going to create a very, very cool Saturday, some of the coolest area of the season so far. We'll talk more about that and some rain finally in the forecast, Karen, so something hey, to look forward to. Good news there and football tonight. That's mm -hmm. also very good news. Right now, we want to check back in with Naomi Kitt. She's in the studio with the News of the Night for us. Naomi. Karen, Tulsa police armed with an arrest warrant are searching for the teen they say is responsible for the deadly shooting at McLean's homecoming game. 16-year-old Navian Golden is charged with murder for the death of 17-year-old Taron Yarborough. He's also charged with three counts of shooting with intent to kill. 2 News Oklahoma's Jeanette Quesada is live at the high school tonight with the details. Jeanette. Naomi, this comes exactly one week after that tragedy happened right here at McLean High School's parking lot right after the game. Take a close look at this photo uh, of 16 year old Naivian Lee Golden. Police say it was taken at school recently. Police say they've gathered enough evidence to arrest Golden in connection to the deadly shooting. Police say at the end of the homecoming game, a group of young men started a fight. Police say Golden pulled out a gun and started shooting. And that's when police say 17 year old Teron Yarborough started running, but he was shot in the chest and died. Police say three other people, including a McLean student and a nine-year-old girl were wounded. Police say the suspect could look different right now, and they're asking anyone with information to please contact Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS. Live from McLean High School, Janet Quesada, 2 News, Oklahoma. Later on 2 News, if you're heading to a TPS football game tonight, you'll notice new rules and security measures in place. Plus, a community organization steps up to help McLean students. You'll find out what they're doing and how you can help with their effort. We'll have the details on both of those stories in 30 minutes. But first, when Friday Night Live continues, a vertigrous woman traveling around the state inspiring dreams. When Friday Night Live continues, we'll show you a VW bug named Epiphany. The car is covered in stickered and is transforming lives through words. Meet the woman behind an inspiring mission that's positively Oklahoma. We're live from Vertigrus when we come back. again for Friday Night Live. It's our game of the week. And you are listening to the Big Red Sound. Aren't they awesome? These kids have spirit and we are so glad to have them. <laughs> so glad to have them. We've got the whole cheer squad right behind us. We've got the big red sound behind us, and we're so glad to be here tonight. You know, we also want to tell you about a vertigrous woman who is changing the world with words. Tonight, 2 News Oklahoma's Julie Chin introduces us to Julie Phillips, whose positive dream tour is positively Oklahoma. I am a cheerleader for anyone who wants to begin living their best life. Julie Phillips is on a life-changing mission. We want to change one billion lives in the next seven years. And this life coach is doing it with stickers, Sharpies, and one sassy little car. My bug's name is Epiphany because she inspires revelation in, in the moment. For the past year, Julie's traveled the state and the country on the Ula Dream Tour. Ula derived from the word ooh la la when your life is like hitting that sweet spot everything feels like it's balanced and growing and you're pursuing purpose in your life julie's mission is simple to collect dreams she has hundreds already they're handwritten on stickers covering her car so julie are you ready to go on the dream tour let's do it let's go julie drives the only dream bug you'll find in oklahoma and one of only seven in the u.s how do you pick where you stop the car? Sometimes 
it's just a gut feeling. I mean, sometimes it's just like, I just feel like I need to stop here today. On this day, that's here along Route 66. Julie takes Epiphany out a few times a week. She tells me it usually only takes minutes after she parks it for people to gather. We witnessed that firsthand. As she sets out her supplies, a curious crowd forms. Pick one of those stickers and just write whatever your heart desires. And then you can put your sticker anywhere. It's free to take part and moving to watch the dreams filter in. They can just be fun, silly dreams and goals, but often they're very heartwarming or heart tugging. I got you die once, but you live every day. Everybody says you only live once. No, you die once. I picked Faith. I uh, recently engaged. Happy marriage, big money. <laughs> there are stories, smiles, tears, and transformations. Just a little sticker can actually bring out something in somebody and actually turn their day around. And that's the driving force behind Epiphany. She's for all ages, so just to inspire people to think beyond the moment. Julie tells me three to 93 year olds have signed the car. She's taken it on vacation to speaking engagements and everywhere in between. I would love to start getting into schools and having the opportunity of like an assembly where giving the kids the opportunity, just telling them some of the basics. A dream bug inspiring all to dream big. Thanks to Julie, who's grateful to be along for the ride. People say to me all the time, thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. This is incredible, thank you. And I just feel like, no, thank you that I get to be part of this mission. In Vertigris, Julie Chin, 2 News, Oklahoma. Imagine living your life in positivity constantly like that. What an absolute joy. Now, two holistic doctors actually started this movement about 10 years ago, and we're told that Julie was one of the first coaches. Now, we've also added a link with more on Julie and the Dream Tour for you on cagerh.com. Just click on Positively Oklahoma. Now, your 2 News Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. It's nice out tonight. It's fall finally has arrived and it is dry for much of northeast Oklahoma. There are a few sprinkles down near the McAllister area. Uh, those are moving away and will continue to weaken, but it should be a nice fall evening across northeast Oklahoma. As we zoom in, you can see it's just a little sprinkler or two in the McAllister area. Not a whole big deal. Uh, looking at right now live Wade's RV Weather Camera Network at 73 degrees with a north wind at 13. That makes it definitely feel a lot cooler than the air temperature shows. Humidity really low at 27 percent. We did climb to 77 this afternoon after starting with cool 54. The sun's at 658 now officially below the 7 o'clock hour. If you're coming out to Friday night football, temperatures in the upper 60s by 7 o'clock down into the upper 50s by 10. Jackets probably needed, especially with that north wind. We'll feel a little chilly this evening. 69 for your Saturday after start the day of 47. We got plenty of clouds around on our Saturday for the fair. Uh, but uh, you know what? A nice fall day. 77 on Sunday with overnight lows in the 50s. So a nice day expected for your Sunday. Next 10 day rainfall total. Look for uh, at least some opportunity for rain Monday, Tuesday, and especially Wednesday with a chance for thunderstorms coming into the area. Euro saying, hey, let's plan on at least a half inch to an inch of rain across the area. And we desperately need it. It's not going to end our drought, but it will definitely help a little, a little. Uh, look at the temperatures the next seven days, upper 60s tomorrow, then climbing. You can see it peaking in the mid 80s by Tuesday into Wednesday before another front arrives. And that brings us a chance for thunderstorms Wednesday, cooling us down into the 70s for Thursday and Friday. So a uh, not so bad forecast for this time of year. Tomorrow morning, I wonder if you say, is there is a chance for a few sprinkles in the morning. Chances rain less than 20%, but don't be surprised if you see a little spritz of two or water on your wind chilled upper 40s to start your morning jacket weather indeed it will feel cold some rain down to the southwest of us by five o'clock mostly cloudy skies the clouds are starting to break and where they break those temperatures will rebound in the 70s where they hold together longer there they'll be cooler with temperatures still in the 60s for oklahoma city and seminole with 73 down in McAllister. so let's break down tomorrow for you uh, really a chilly start to your morning with temperatures generally in the 40s and then into the 60s by lunchtime and then the upper 60s by 5 o'clock. 
And uh, we'll see that uh, with temperatures in the upper. There we go. 68 degrees by 5 o'clock with mostly cloudy skies. All right. The rest of the 10-day forecast. Look for highs in the upper 70s on Sunday, 80 degrees on Monday with mid 80s Tuesday into Wednesday. And that thunderstorm chance increasing finally by the middle of next week. Boy, do we need the rainfall. It will be awesome for the area. Mid-70s for your Thursday and Friday. And then warming back up into the lower 80s on Saturday of next week. So right now, at least the weather is looking quite nice for football. <laughs> We're loving this weather, aren't you, saying? My, my favorite time of year. Yes. Should I or shouldn't I put on a light jacket? That's the dilemma I'm looking for. That, that's uh, when the weather is that'd be right a yes. there. Yes. Yeah, two yeses. <laughs> I just want to say one thing I will never, ever, ever be able to do in my life is drive a school bus. The fella from Bristow who is negotiating the turns <laughs> yeah. in this tight little area right by the Channel 2 live truck, well done, sir. <laughs> All right, we're coming back, of course, to talk about this matchup, Bristow and Verdigris, and some of the other big high school football matchups tonight. You're looking live at the number one team in Class 3A, the Verdigris Cardinals, 5-0, and taking on Bristow tonight. Sports is next. Kickoff now 38 minutes away. Top ranked Vertigris 5 0 taking on Bristow in our FNL tailgate game of the week. You are looking live at the field. Those boys from Vertigris, number one in the state, ready to get after it. All right, we have some great matchups tonight. Down in Jinx, third ranked Trojans taking on number five Norman North. We have Owasso hosting Edmund North, Broken Arrow, and Westmore. Highlights of all of these games coming up tonight on Friday Night Live beginning at 10 15. Also, out west, Bixby. Visiting Enid, looking to extend that state record winning streak to 55 games. Biggest matchup of the week was just a big old beatdown last night. How about this? In Coweta, Tim Harper's third-ranked Tigers hammering number one McAllister, 49-0. Coweta quarterback Nikhilin Starks was absolutely terrific. Five total touchdowns. You might remember these two squared off in a battle of unbeatens one year ago. The Buffaloes beat the Tigers 33-2. Very different story as Kawita returns the favor last night. Look out, Class 5A should be noted. McAllister star running back and defensive back Eric McCarty, an OU commit, played through several injuries last night. Last night, Norman, Grayson Tempest got the starting quarterback for Union. Shaker Reisig battling some nagging injuries, we're told. Tempest leading the Red Hawks to a 42-28 defeat of Norman. 191 yards rushing, four touchdowns for DJ McKinney. Union improves to 6-0 on the season. Big one next week as they visit Mustang. All right, after running for more than 2,400 yards and 43 touchdowns as a junior, Groves Emmanuel Crawford admittedly was off to a slower start than expected so far this year, had not run for more than 150 yards in any game. He was off to a slow start until last Friday night in Claremore. He is our player of the week after 339 total yards and five touchdowns. With the expectations that I've set for myself, hmm. um, my whole football career, just to be an exceptional player. Um, so, you know, I felt like before that game, that was a night that, you know, I really needed to um, amp it up and play at my best level. In the first four games, all Ridge Runner victories, Groves Emmanuel Crawford yet to run for more than 150 yards. Friday against Claremore, 305 yards, five total touchdowns. It was definitely uh, a great feeling to feel like, you know, last season, um, it seemed like every game it was like that. Um, but it was nice to finally have a game like that and be able to just, you know, run and uh, do what I love to do. It is fun watching him do what he loves to do. Of course, the college games this weekend, little thing called the Red River Showdown, and man, is it weird with OU and Texas both unranked. That'll start tomorrow at 11 a.m. OSU hosting Texas Tech. Number seven Cowboys look like the best team in the Big 12 and TU visiting Navy. Full preview, our Big Four preview coming up tonight on FNL. Here now, Mike, with your game day forecast. Now, your Friday night live game day forecast, sponsored by Bob Hurley RV. Ends with temperatures generally in the 60s for Saturday with cloudy skies. We'll see sunshine and slightly milder temperatures up for 70s on Sunday, but dry weekend ahead before rain chances move in next week. So enjoy your game days this weekend as it looks quite nice. <laughs> we have much more for you right after this.
watching our Friday Night Live coverage of our Game of the Week.